we, we all have problems. Some of us have marriage problems. Some of us have problems with our children. Some of us have problems with money. Some of us have problems with health. Some of us have problems with extended family, friends. We have all kinds of problems. When you call on Allah with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, know that Allah will remove the tension from your head. He'll get rid of it and He will replace it with a, with a reliance on Allah. And everything will get sorted out. Everything will work out. Because you have this gift that came from the heavens. This, this thing you recite and I recite, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim is not cheap. It's amazing. You know when it's used in a context? I, I, all of you know it's used in the beginnings of surahs every time. But the one time it's used in the middle is in the story of Sulaiman. Innahu min Sulaiman wa innahu bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ever think about that? Sulaiman alayhi salam is going to transfer the throne of another queen thousands of miles in the blink of an eye. And he says, this is because of bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is what bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim can do. What is Allah teaching you and me? If Allah can do that when someone truly believes in Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, then you and I have no reason to be pessimists left. A Muslim is not supposed to be depressed because he has this gift. The last of these names is ar-Rahim. And as I leave you with ar-Rahim, two things I want to share with you. Ar-Rahim actually fills the void of ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahim is a sifa mushabbaha, they say in Arabic, something that is permanent. So don't you worry. Allah will take care of you right now immediately. And if you're worried about tomorrow, He'll take care of you tomorrow too. You know, it's human nature. If, you, if you're really hungry, and your wife says to you, what do you want to eat next week? You say, forget it, woman. What do we have right now? I don't care about next week. I'm starving right now. Once you, start, once you finish eating, and your stomach is full, then you say, so what are you saying about next week? You don't think about the future if you have a problem in the present. Once your present problem is solved, then you start thinking about the future. If you haven't paid the bill yet, then you're only thinking about the bill right now. The moment you pay the bill, you start thinking, what am I going to pay next month's bill? You think about the future. What did Allah do? Allah took care of your immediate need when He said, Ar-Rahman. And He took care of your future when He said, Ar-Rahim. He took care of your future. Both of them. And in the right order. Because human beings, Kalla wal al ajila. You love to rush. You love the things that you need right now. You're obsessed with them. Allah ya'lamu man khalaq. Doesn't He know who He created? He gave me Ar-Rahman first, then He gave me Ar-Rahim. He gave us an incomplete statement on purpose. Because what you do next completes it. In the name of Allah, I eat. In the name of Allah, I get out of bed. In the name of Allah, I wash my face. In the name of Allah, I get in my car. Everything you do is actually completing. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It is as though this beautiful gift of Allah was waiting to complete everything you do.